Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Uh, today, before I get started, I wanted to give a shout out to my grandniece, Aoife, who is having a birthday today. And I think in her honor, I'm going to dedicate this little cactus to her. I will take good care of it, Aoife. This is a this is a Thanksgiving cactus, and I'm naming it that because it bloomed on Thanksgiving last year. The blooms lasted all the way through to Christmas, but it was a beautiful, beautiful cactus. And today I'm going to be up potting, which means taking it from a small pot and putting it into a larger pot. So it'll grow on. I'm also going to prune it to give it some strength. It's pulling down right now. I don't even know if you can see this. Now I mentioned earlier that I'd be up potting this Thanksgiving cactus and I'm giving it the name Aoife G because it might be a little unpredictable. Just like Aoife G. Who would have thought that she would be both a Taekwondo expert and an unbelievable pogo sticker at the same time. So who knows what she's gonna take on next. So if this cactus blooms on Thanksgiving next year, it is my effigy Thanksgiving cactus. If it blooms on Christmas next year, it's my, did I say next year? I mean this year. It's my effigy Christmas cactus. If it blooms on some other holiday, it's my effigy whatever cactus. So let's get it out of the pot and let's get it up potted as soon as possible. Uh, since I'm outside today, not in the greenhouse, not that it matters, um, I'm using my Thermacell mosquito repellent, which is really cool. It's got a part with the mosquito repellent in it fits in there, it's rechargeable. You turn it on, heats up an element, and this really works to keep away the uh, mosquitoes. I haven't been touched. So that's my little endorsement. Thermocell mosquito repellent. All right, let's get this guy out of the pot. What I'm going to do that is to slip a very thin pallet knife. This is actually my grandpa's pallet knife. He was an artist and a violinist. Not the one that was a plumber. <laughs> the other one, my dad's father. And this came to me a while ago. But its use is brand new in this context. I don't think he ever envisioned it being used this way. It works perfectly well to free the plant from the pot. It's so thin. Grandpa Jacques. We have so many of his paintings. And so do my children. Oh, look at that mass of roots. All right, let's get a close up. Oh my goodness. No wonder this has been doing so poorly. All right, Aoife, I'm gonna give this a birthday, a birthday pruning, root pruning. Hope it uh, survives. This is hard as a rock.
I'm going to really have to think about this. Another unpredictable event. I put it in 100% Akadama, which was not the smartest idea, but I'll get it out. I may have to soak it. Hang on, all ye loyal fans. I may have to move inside quickly because the weather is taking a turn. All right. Tom of Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors, this underwater root raking is for you. Oh, you definitely don't want to put your cactus in 100% Akadama. Don't know what I was thinking. Well, now the unpredictability of this tree will be if I can keep it alive. Let's see. It's going to have to soak for a little while. I'm going to pour out some of the water so it can just sit in there. I'm going to let that sit for a while and come on back. Hopefully this storm will pass. And so due to a sudden thunder downpour, I had to bring the whole operation in the greenhouse. Except for my white shower curtain that I use as a backdrop. That's still hanging between the two trees and it's getting nice and washed. I wonder if you can hear the rain. It was deafening just a few minutes ago. So effigy is getting quite a wash off, but this is going to take quite some time. So I don't even know if showing it in fast motion will be adequate. I'm just going to come back in. This is as far as I've gotten with it. You can see it's still solid as a rock on this side. <laughs> oh goodness me. All right, I'll keep working on it and I'll come back at you later. Well, that was fun, Aoife. It rained. I went inside. I got the root all squared away, maybe a little bit more. I'm not going to prune this on the bottom, or maybe I should. No, I want to say that I've done no root work to this. Plenty of room in the pot. I want this to be the front of the plant. Well, let's make sure. Yeah, that faces away. This kind of fans back. I want it perfectly vertical. See that? I just manhandled it. I'm just breaking that away. It's waterlogged. Let's see what happens. And I'm gonna use regular bonsai soil get started right away. All right, I'll start filling the pot with bonsai soil. I think I took enough. And I'm just piling it up in the middle.
the front of the pot, the front of the plant, spread the roots out as good as you can. Just letting my phone ring if you can hear it. All right. Now I'm going to lift up slightly. And I'm going to work those, work that bonsai soil into the roots pulling out uh, radially, but trying to get in to find any, any air pockets. That might be in there. Trying not to manhandle it. The reason this plant has sent out so many aerial roots was because it was fiercely looking for water or moisture of some kind and it obviously wasn't getting it in that pot. So this is needed to repot for some time. And Aoife's birthday is the best time to repot <laughs> or whatever cactus. I'm thinking Thanksgiving because that's what it was last year. But you never know. Unpredictable like someone I know. Positioning in the pot is pretty good. I can make minor adjustments with what I'm doing. I can feel the bonsai soil filling a gap right here. That will help with the presentation of this tree. the blunt end and pack it home. Also like someone I know. So have an awesome birthday, Aoife. Your Uncle Steve put this unpredictable tree on an unpredictable day. And 
I named it after an unpredictable girl. If I wonder what you're going to amaze us with next year. Happy birthday. Right? Let me show it to you. And talk about it also. See these little leaves? It would have put out much bigger leaves if it were healthy. That was a sign that there was something wrong. So I went in there not a moment too soon. So I'm gonna let this thing dry out a little bit and I'm gonna give it a haircut. Just prune it up a little bit for shape. Oh yeah, this tree's gonna do great. Here's the complete 360 before pruning. And we'll talk about pruning. Back to the front. All right, so even before pruning, this was, this was leaning down quite a bit. I think on this side, it's because of the weight of this branch. I'm going to prune this off in favor of this one. Maybe it'll stand up a little bit. It's kind of a big cut. And I'm not going to water this for a while, so we'll see how that goes. Now, It's a sin to do this on the other side, but I think for the style, it has to be done. And I think I'm also going to take another piece off of this. I'm, I might just wait on that. And right, I'm going to take this off to here. I think I'm going to take this off, which is fine as long as I shorten this. But how shall I do that? This is gonna look brutal. I'm gonna take the tips off of these kind of slow it down a little and I think I'm going to take the tips off of these all right I've taken this down I want it to grow out and it is doing that but I'm just going to take the one vertical one off now it's going now it's going more out. This, I think I like this just the way it is. And here's one of those places where there's a red, a red leaf that I want to keep. So I'm going to take the green leaf under the red leaf off. And I've got some weight pulling down here. I think I'm going to take this frontal leaf off. Took the leaf off of here. I would love it if the apex were in the rear of this plant. 
in order to do that, I've got to take these down. You know, I think, I, I think I'm ready to do that. I'm taking more off this plant than I said originally, but that's, that's fine. I'm doing this for the future of the tree. Apex is in the rear. Here we go. I think I'm just going to take the tips off of these because it'll slow it down and then the rear can catch up. Okay. Now this side coming down like that. So I've got to remove the bunny ears off of this piece right here. Otherwise the design does not work. And really the bunny ears off of these two well, this one's not the bunny ears, this one's the single extension, but still. And I'll show you what I did in a second. Okay, now you see what's going on? So what happens here? Well, what happens there? I've still got this divides into three here. I'm going to take the middle one out to create some separation. See, bonsai techniques work. Now I've created some separation here. Got some interference happening here. So how do I fix that? Because this divided into one, two, three. I'm going to take this one off. tree's got a chance now. Got another interference thing happening here where it divides into three. Take the middle one out. Create more separation. So what do I do here? I'm gonna take it off here. And here. And maybe even right here. Okay, a serious pruning on this tree. Am I done? Let's see. Something going on here. Maybe it'll sort itself out. All right. Carnage cam. Okay, here's everything I took off the Aoife G. She's looking pretty. She's got a lot of growing to do. All right, so it's much pruned down. We're going to wait and see what happens on this tree. So this is Steve. Thank you for keeping me company in my backyard. And happy birthday, Aoife G.